wife, Tracy Ward. All right, nice to meet you. I'm Robin's girl. I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you the, it, that's not an original uniform costume? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I wear that sometimes, too. <laughs> I've seen you scheduled to appear at lots of uh, celebrity signings. You appear at celebrity signings. Yes. What's that like for you? Well, I've done that for 50 years, actually. <laughs> I've signed. I, I went out. At one point, I was doing 300 cities a year for 25 years, and that uh, that got old pretty quick. So um, I don't do as many <laughs> signings. Uh, usually, in fact, the last ones I did was with my dear friend Adam West, you know, the late Adam West, and uh, he and I did, I think, 20 some odd cities, all these major events and stuff like that. But now uh, we're working on doing things where we can do things uh, where we can be in any location in the world world do it vi virtually so we're working on the virtual appearances and my wife and I operate the largest giant breed dog rescue in the world I don't know if you know about it. it's called gentle giants we've rescued 15,500 dogs in the last 24 years you get them foster homes we we, we no in no home. in our home I in have 50 50 <laughs> dogs at all time minimum living in our house with us we have a special permit to do this and we find them safe loving homes in the course of doing that we discovered a way to help dogs live longer and our charity has now has dogs living to 27 years when no one in the world has been able to do it. It's our Gentle Giants dog food and our feeding and care program. We take no salary from this. This is all about charity and giving back. So here at Christmas time, what better gift than to give the gift of life to your dog and add another five or ten years if you have a dog. And uh, we offer our, uh, our product and our, our support for anybody that wants it, and we do it free of charge. It's nice. It, well, it's nice to be kind to animals. You save penguins? <laughs> now, penguin is one animal that uh, is not a very kind animal, uh, you know, but uh, for well, the most part... The penguin himself. Yeah, the, but, pe uh, the penguin, although we, we love would. penguins, yes. but not... But the penguin from Gotham City has caused this... nefarious villain. Very nefarious, <laughs> heinous villain. Now, how many penguins were there? Was it only Burgess Meredith? Yes, there was only Burgess Meredith. Now, a lot of other actors have portrayed, there was multiple uh, versions of, uh, Mr. Freeze. of Mr. Freeze, George Saunders. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, Vincent Price was Egghead, okay. And, uh, but we've had a whole bunch, and then there was... Um, Otto course, Preminger, wasn't it? Otto Preminger was one, and uh, also Frank Gorshin played the Riddler for the most part, but then John Astin did one one episode as the Riddler. So everybody wanted to be on our show. In fact, so many people wanted to be on, they created the walking up the wall, where we would be walking up the wall and the window would open, and it was either Sammy Davis Jr., Don Ho, or, or Dick Clark, or Betty White, or Colonel Clink, or any, any number of celebrities. That's the only way that they could get on our show, and people were screaming. They wanted to be on Batman. It was the number one and number two show in the world. Wasn't yours the original uh, live action depiction of that comic strip, uh, or comic book? Yeah, yes, yes, it was. Well, there was serials done many, many years before. They were Columbia series, but they really weren't distributed like on television in the in the way that ours was. We are the ones that really have created the world for all these superhero movies. I mean, if you think about it, comic books were not doing too well in 1965 when we came out and we all of a sudden brought them to life. And now every other movie you see is a superhero movie. Now, what, what are your thoughts when you see new depictions of Batman as have come out through these uh, full-length motion pictures? I think Warner Brothers has done a fantastic job. There's great actors, great sets. Everything is great. But there are actors playing Batman. There was only really one Batman, and that's Adam West. What's Adam West? what this is for? What? That's for Adam West. That's our tribute. Oh, oh the nice. tear. Yeah. Oh, oh, the tear. Back crying. We lost him. Yeah, yeah. What do you think his legacy is? I mean, you could say that to be the legacy of, of, of both Batman and Robin. His legacy, I think, is, is that he brought children of all ages to enjoy family entertainment. He, he used to say that although there was a dark night in the movies, he was the bright night. And he was a very kind man, a very sweet man, and a marvelous sense of humor. It was his comedy and the chemistry between the two of us that I think really what made Batman so successful. We were the first show in television history to play with the audience. Everybody else, you just sit and watch the show, but oh no, we teased and taunted. We used to say that we put on our tights to put on the world. And the comedy, the camp style, everything we did was designed to 
bring in that audience, suck them in, get them out of their seats. And kids were jumping off their couches, wearing bath towels with clothespins around their neck. Some of them got hurt. We didn't want that, of course. But there was so much instructive. And even recently, at the last time we were here a year ago at the Hollywood Christmas Parade, and there was an FBI agent that came up to me and said, you know, I could have turned out to be uh, on the other side of the law, but watching Batman growing up really helped me realize how important it is to be good and to be honorable. How long does it take you to put uh, a full equipment in your utility belt? Well, let's see, I've got my sack lunch, a change of underwear, I've got my uh, various paraphernalia. You have to pre-pack this, okay? You gotta pre-pack it, because you know, you're, uh, you got a lot of stuff. Thank you very much, appreciate, appreciate Thank your you time. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, everybody.